This is exactly what happened before at the other hospital. As soon as I told somebody and like like management and tried to advocate for my patient, they take the patient away from me and then they move me. So I was trying to advocate for my patient and talk to management here and get the care that he needs because he's being medically mismanaged. <laughs> An anesthesiologist um, intubated the patient's like, I think it was right, uh, brand, like bronchi and of a patient and they couldn't get the sats up and for about five hours like we were waiting on a chest x-ray to confirm that the placement was wrong and in the meantime while we're waiting for that and we've told the anesthesiologist that it was placed wrong because like literally only one side of his chest is like inflating um he dies um a patient had a heart rate of 40 and the resident <laughs> started doing chest compressions on him, which is not what you do. And then he decides to push Epi, he throws some pads on them, on him to, to defibrillate the guy in bradycardia, okay? He has a heart rate of 40 in a stable, you know, bradycardic rhythm. We just need to give him some, like some atropine and pace him. He defibrillates him and kills him. The patient's room to get like the director of nursing who was standing out there and I'm like, can you stop him? He's going to kill that patient and he's going to kill that patient if he defibrillates him with bradycardia and a heart rate of 40. And the director of nursing just shook his head and I turned around and he killed the dude. Okay. There was a nurse who played, placed an NG tube into, um, into some guy's lungs and filled his lungs with tube feeding. There was a nurse who confused uh, a long-acting insulin with a short-acting acting insulin and gave 30 units of a fast-acting insulin and killed the guy. I told you about the patient where like all that like purulent drainage just kept seeping into his lungs because the ET tube cuff w was leaking and nobody has a fucking manometer here to check the pressures. They didn't want to start antibiotics. Day shift nurse finally got a chest x-ray. He has full-blown pneumonia now. We have a nurse who, like, fell asleep at the fucking nurse's station while we were all in rooms, and her norepinephrine ran out, and the guy had no fucking blood pressure and didn't perfuse his brain, and now I'm pretty sure he's brain dead. That same nurse is now running a CRRT machine, a dialysis-like machine, that she has never done before. She said she'll figure it out. So I can flex in the house. I Nobody is listening. They don't care what is happening to these people. They don't. I'm literally coming here every day and watching them kill them. Um, I have a lady on a trank on a vent, and she's not even cognizant. She's not even on sedation. You know what we give her every day? We give her breathing treatments, albuterol, and uh, she gets uh, insulin. And that's it. That was yeah. We're not treating the COVID, guys. We still have 100% mortality rate on the ICU unit I just left. But I mean, they're living longer because we have like legit ICU nurses there. It's like if we were in Nazi Germany and they were like taking the Jews to go put them in a gas chamber, I'm the one like there saying, hey, this is not good. This is bad. This is wrong. We should not be doing this. And then everyone tells me, hang in there. You're doing a great job. You can't save everybody. You're, you know, you're amazing. You're a great nurse. Guys, I know I go in there and I give it 500% every day. I know I'm not being negligent. Okay, I know that. What I need is someone to help me save these people from being killed. Okay, from gross negligence and complete medical mismanagement. They all just shake their heads and I'm like, am I the only one who is not a sociopath? I mean, guys, they literally don't even know when they're dead. And this is what they do. They let the patient's blood get acidotic, their kidneys shut down, and then at the last minute, they finally decide to run bicarb. So they run five liters of bicarb into a person who's gained 20 pounds of water weight and completely throw him into heart failure and he dies several hours later. That was one of my patients. Like, guys, they're not dying of COVID, okay? Like, 
I've just watched a doctor drop a central line and f***ing rupture, like, the sub, like, clavian, like, vein, and the guy f***ing bled to death. I mean, COVID didn't break that central line. COVID didn't kill that guy. I watched an anesthesiologist, like, an ET tube and rupture their esophagus, and the guy choked to death on his own blood. COVID didn't place that ET tube incorrectly. An incorrectly placed ET tube placed that pneumo, and then they wouldn't let me fix it. You'd probably lose your mind because you're not a sociopath, thinking this is all okay. That's just weird, guys. They're all okay with it. Like, I tell you, we get on the f bus and we go into the twilight zone here. Like, how do you not know when your patient is dead? For real. Yeah, my lead at the other hospital who advocated for the patients too. Like the first day I got there and I was in orientation, the, that crash course orientation, he warned me that I was gonna have a problem. He would advocate for the patients too. They moved him too. All right, guys, I'm going to the new unit. Let's see how they kill him there, okay? Stay safe. Stay out of NYC for your healthcare.